Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are, new day, new lure, and uh, today's request is going to come from Benoit Paquet, and uh, the request has been for some deep diving walleye lures. Uh, here we have our deep diving lure, hologram side. I'm not sure if we're going to keep the hologram side yet, but we'll see. I'd like to. We'll see if I can make that happen. And uh, I think today's pattern is going to be the Guatemalan Insanity Pepper. Not the Insanity Pepper, because that is uh, from Frostbite Lures. Uh, picture here, link below. Uh, this is going to be the Guatemalan Insanity Pepper from The Simpsons. So, let's get into it. Okay, so this is going to be our uh, kind of our stencil for this lure. Now, I've used this before for like the, the Fire Tiger... Uh, like my very first video, but uh, I, I need to modify this first. Uh, I want to make this uh, Guatemalan Insanity Pepper look almost like there's um, like a green ribbing uh, or a slime kind of that goes around the pepper look. But this has very, let's see if I can bring that in, kind of rough edges and everything else. So I think what we'll do is use our hot glue gun. And our mylar sheet with the ribbon attached to it. And we'll just kind of kind of trace over. what we have here. Now this is going to be a long, tedious process. So what I think we'll do is go ahead, skip, or fast forward. I'll fast forward, you keep watching. And come back when it's all done. So we've put hot glue all over every little vein on this ribbon. Uh, I like how it's really kind of softened out these corners. I like that. Well, let this cool. I'll go through and pick out all the little hot glue webs and we'll see how it fits on the lure. So we'll start with some transparent white. Now, if I'm going to have any chance in uh, getting this reflective to come through, let's go over with a light layer of the transparent white. Uh, the head will be white anyways, so I'm not too concerned about where I spray. But we're definitely going to do a light layer over top of the body, enough for our further colors to hopefully pop out still. Okay, we have some titanium white now. And that's going to be for... The back, belly, and the head. So the transparent actually allows that reflectiveness to come through quite nicely. Um, we're going to put some fluorescent chartreuse on and hopefully we can still see it. So I haven't dried it yet. I put some reducer and some 4050 in the brush. Just kind of mixed it up. And we're gonna spray that over top of the chartreuse to kind of give it a little more of a protective layer when we put our, our mesh on. 
So hopefully that mesh doesn't remove the chartreuse. Next we have some fluorescent green. Now the ribbon's not necessary, I don't think, for this step, but uh, it's just going to help me kind of get just a, a random, an equal amount of random coverage. How's that for a concept, eh? So let's spray through that. All right, let's get this uh, stencil on here. So after much trimming and uh, fitting of this stencil, the glue's left a few little gaps kind of underneath. I've turned the pressure down and I think all we'll do is we'll just be very careful, spray from one angle at a time and cover up the green that's, that's not covered. Uh, titanium white, by the way. One important note, uh, when you're using white to cover up other colors through stencils and, and whatever, don't feel like you have to cover that base color in one pass. A few light layers will really save you a lot of headache when it comes to removing your stencil and underspray and whatnot. So, so be, don't hesitate to do a, a few light layers over top. So I just realized, this is all hot glue on this ribbon. I can't heat set that. So, well, at least without making a mess, uh, I let that dry. Yeah, that's just gonna be more time. Okay, gonna let that dry. We'll come back with our next color. Hang on. Okay, with some wicked pearl red. We're gonna spray over top of the white. Pressure's still low. Next we have some Createx Pearl Magenta. And with our uh, modeled stencil from Anarchy Models. We'll just throw a few little spots in there. Spray a bit on the head. Just in the lower part. Now some Createx uh, Pearl Plum. Okay, let's see where we're at. If we need to do any more details or whatnot. <laughs> I like that.
So I really like how that turned out. You can kind of see the little magenta spots on the side when you turn it in the light. I was a little bit curious how that stencil was going to fit on the lure with the hot glue and everything else. But you know what? That underspray that went, that kind of like snuck under, I really like it. It gives it kind of like, like a tie-dyed look. Man, okay. Uh, I'm going to put some top coat on this. Well, here we have the finished product. Oh, and my dog wants to be on the video too. So, finished product, the Guatemalan and Sandy Pepper. I think it turned out pretty darn good. I'm excited to pull this. Um, let's give it a try. So here we are. I've only had a few minutes to uh, come out and try a lure. So I came to the closest place I could think of. Uh, I haven't been out here for years. Where'd all the water go? Like the water used to be up to here, uh, right around in here. It's down like 10 feet. If you look across the shore, right where that stump was, I remember fishing that stump and pulling pike off of there. Wow, not, uh, not the place for a deep diver. Hmm, let's go for a little, little stroll and see what we find. It looks good, but man, it's not going to catch anything here. Let's, uh, while we're out here, let's switch it up. At least maybe we'll try to catch something, uh, catch something on the top water. So here's the uh, top water from that, because Matt Stephens says so. We'll try it out. I don't know, I, I can't imagine anything even being here anymore. This is so sad. You know, there's a river right around the corner here. I think what we'll do is we'll try to get as close to that as possible. Although it is private property up there. And I don't know, maybe at the mouth of the river is going to be something more productive. Well, that's neat. It's like the fanciest river rubble ever. Hmm. Okay. Fox just cruising by. All right. All right. I think we'll head upstream. We'll try. I don't know. It's all looking pretty shallow and uh, and gross. There we go. What do we have here? Ah, a little pike. A little pike on the top water. All right. Off you go. So, the black top water did it. Wish I could show you more action of that, uh, of that deep diver, but that's all right. Got a big trip coming up at the end of the month, so hopefully I'll get to display a few lures. Anyways, 
There you go. I'll throw a few more, but I need to get going. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, please subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.